Hey guys, hey happy, guys new happy new year. New year. Excellent. 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 Hey, look, hey, at, look me. at me. To see what is have activated faith. faith. And wonder what it is. Hey guys, Happy New Year 2023. It's like science fiction, huh? but it's for an old person like me. <laughs> um, it's been nice having a moment just to decompress and uh, sort of be a, a lazy boy and, and also to enjoy the coming, you know, enjoy the plans that are being made for the things we're doing this year, me and the team. Amazing, amazing evolution going on. I'm very excited and you know me, I'll share it when it's there. I don't, I don't really want to talk about it until it's in my hands, but it's all fun, it's all exciting. And um, <clears throat> I guess it was all delivered, strangely enough, from, I guess, standing one's ground. I'm, I stood my ground on certain things within wanting the art to be not recognized within its excellence, but just if I found myself in the company of people, whether it be music or paintings or digital art or whatever, creative uh, involvement in things, it should be derived from a mutual enjoyment of it and it should be given value of that so that there can be respectful interactions. And the reason I raise it is that when we find ourselves with the pursuit of, and I'm sure, I hope at least, many of you here have had <clears throat> your own personal evolutions, not just because of this space, because of your wonderful effort and many other things, I'm sure, many. But to feel, I hope I've been a contributor to those thinkings or those ponderings been a great experience kind of gathering a community not planning to and then just the in the desire to see what can happen without the ats and the hashtags and the, you know hey look at me to see what just gathers it's almost like we're walking through a path and we ha we hear a drum circle or a <clears throat> you know we hear some laughter or the smell of a fire burning we feel ah oh, civilization let's go let's go have a look and I knew that was possible so in this new year, I realized, what did we achieve over the last few years? We, we, we understand now, I think many of us have like-mindedness. The wonderful thing about like-mindedness, nobody contradicts their individuality. But how nice if you're at a concert, for example, it might be a Bross concert, it might be a Luke concert, right? It might be Coldplay, it might be U2, The Stones, whatever. You're standing around with a bunch of people that you know you can at least agree upon, agree upon one thing. One thing. A creative thing that was originally delivered, I believe, the arts delivered ethereally, especially when they affect the masses. Um, and I think that delivery normally comes from a bunch of individuals or individuals <coughs> operating um, with freedom. Like, I got 110 songs, I think, now. That's, that's, I mean, many people have more. But what I realize is, it's not difficult because I can only follow my lead. I realize I can get, say, two or three chords. I can use them again, just put a different melody to it. I can shape them like subsets in math to find a new, a new order and, of them, of the chords, and then find another melody again. <clears throat> Made me realize we can do so much more with each thing we have. As metaphors abound. But I think one thing I wanted to say here, I was like, what am I going to talk about? And I, I didn't... I had such a cacophony of things. I thought, I'm just going to see what happens. Because I value your participation in this. I value your commitment to good and your courage of words, as I've said many times. Now, I want to say wholeheartedly, I'm a man of faith. And I say now, I hear within my way of hearing things. And I believe it's a call to those that do love God in any way they choose. In any uh, denomination of religion. <clears throat> I say, just for a moment, within, within my words of knowing their intention within just faith not any of the expectations of the religions that we have more the expectations of the compass that faith gives us don't lie don't betray try and evolve to the best self possible faith is that it's a compass it's a compass and we say do we want it or not now will we build new bridges literally and metaphorically will we build temples and churches literally not metaphorically will we build new ways of 
getting from A to B, new highways, new, new transportation, new, you know, leave, finally leave the age of combustion and not be blamed for it. If we spend so much time on our phones and we deny faith to help us, you know, because faith gives us encouragement when needed and it gives us a reminder of what we are and how we are. So this is a call. This year, if you guys have um, activated faith and it is in your life, please share it, share it. Let some of your posts think, I'm not going to go do this app where somebody's going to say, oh, that's great. I'm not being sarcastic, but it doesn't serve you. It won't build those bridges and that architecture, and it will not bring us to a future that's worth anything. Now, I think the generation of my age and a little younger know better. We must put things down that stop the construction of our future. And before we're too old to do it, let's start setting an example saying we can put these toys down and we can start trying to find handshakes, phone calls, emails, texts, whatever it takes to unite the common minded of those that will not be convinced that oppression is not oppression. Healthcare, it needs to look after us better. Governments need to be leaders rather than bullies. And we'll never obtain freedom by caging us. There's too many of us. And I just say, all we want to do is love each other. So if anyone can find poor rhetoric in the fact that let's come together, love each other enough to say, are you okay? Oh, no, we, we can help that. We, we've got resources that can help you there. Maybe it shouldn't even be in the realms of charity, rather the realms of reflex. So this year I'd say... Please share your stories of victory, share your stories of courage, share your stories of overcoming and becoming what you always wish you would be because it's always in you, it's always there. You just have to not look away from that mirror and say, no, I, I, I like being myself, I, especially if that doesn't involve ever hurting anybody. Now, I love to look after people I love. My friends say you love gloriously, and that's a nice compliment, not my words, and it's not boastful. So please, please think, as I say that, I wonder if it was right. But... In truth, it's the greatest reward I could have had this Christmas and New Year, being appreciated. Not for ego, it's just that the boy of us, or the girl of us, or the young of us, the innocent of us, loves a hug. And, but you know what, it's a win-win both sides. The person's meaning it, the people are meaning it. I reciprocate probably even more so as much as I can because the gratitude's ridiculous. And wonderful, I should say, in that way. But. Uh, Let's, let's see if this next year, rather than the philosophies and the like-mindedness which should continue, let's evolve and step into a walk and share that walk to encourage people that have just started. So at the end of next year, more feel supported, more feel encouraged, and, and more feel okay with looking up and saying, I love you, God, because I do. And it helps me, and I pray right now in front of you for everyone here to have the most glorious year of both courage and evolution of self. And glory to you and the ones you love exponentially. And your health be immaculately protected by the divine. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. That's what you'd get from me in my home. And it's that informal. So please, let's have an incredible 23. And let's remember we have the right to dream still. And if we see anything, even legislation. Legislation doesn't mean it's correct. Let's realize that. If we feel oppressed, then so we probably are. Let's be brave. Let's be, be proud of our faith. Those that are, I mean, let's be prouder and share it. I, I love you. I thank you. And um, I'm proud of letting you know that. I'm proud of it. And I'm proud of my faith. Thank you for being here, who, who, whoever is. And uh, it's nice to be back. I hope you're new. Uh, there's a new song. Enjoy it. It's uh, I Want to Fly Away. It's a song that sometimes says, you know, when it's all going horribly and we see those things of war and we see those things of destruction, we just want to get away. I'm one of those two. I have those feelings. But I know there's things to do here, isn't there? We've got to help each other. We've got to build a new way. So it's worth sticking around for. I'll be here, I pray, until I'm crispy and gray. Not up here, of course. I don't have a lot of hair up there, but it's okay. I, I can live with that. <laughs> have a good time. Have a beautiful Sunday. And I'll see you next week. Um, I love you. You take care. God bless you.
Cause here on earth just wanna love my nigga Wanna love my love and my friends I wanna go home, you know And I finally know where I'm from You go past the moon, the stars, the milky way You go past the sun and then the sun I wanna fly away, yeah Don't really wanna stay, no Try to work it out someday, yeah Every man, every woman, and child I want to fly away, yeah Don't really want to stay, no I want to fly away, yeah Try to work it out someday, yeah